Depending on which app we're referring to, a pump and dump could mean two different things. Today, we're going to focus on someone screwing over their followers. That person is Chloe, the alleged crypto queen. She even says she's the crypto queen in her bio. What's ironic is the original crypto queen wasn't exactly the most ethical investor of all time. Crypto queen, how this woman scammed the world, then vanished. If you haven't heard about this lady, she rode the crypto wave in 2016 to hundreds of millions of dollars by turning people's interest in this new cool cryptocurrency idea into a large investment in her one coin. Here's a chart showing how many euros were invested in one coin by country. The poor Chinese got taken for a ride on this one. The article later detailed that the crypto queen realized the power of MLMs and got all of the people in MLMs to promote the coin to their downline. She raised a bunch of money then said, peace y'all, I'm going to disappear and live the rest of my life in private. Never to be seen again. Also never to be seen again is the money spent by investors in this new crypto queen's coin, Chloe. This is a tweet she put out to her over 700,000 followers promoting her crypto coin. Good thing she included the hashtag not financial advice at the bottom. This post was on June 21, 2021. Let's take a quick poll. What do you think happened with this coin? Is it still going strong today? It was made by the crypto queen, so I'm sure it was a solid investment, right? Whoa, huge surprise. Look at that monster red candle indicating a huge selling event. Let's look at the date. And sure enough, it was right around the time she was pumping the coin on her Twitter. If you've ever wanted to lose 99% of your money, either buy pics from the sports gamblers I roast or an influencer claiming to be the crypto queen. Look at her Instagram feed. This looks like someone who spends all day analyzing the markets and working with devs to create a new revolutionary coin, doesn't it? Instagram models photos are fun to look at when you're sitting on the toilet and scrolling through your explore feed. But if you're going to take financial advice from these now alleged crypto experts, you're statistically much better off putting all of that money on black at a casino down the street from me. This was an obvious pump and dump scam that she threw on her followers. The price tanked immediately, which would be okay if she was still focused on this project and working to make a great coin with a great community, but she decided to move on to something she's a little better suited for, which is taking pictures half naked and giving investment advice. In her Instagram bio, Glamour Girl turned crypto queen and NFT collector. She's also now allegedly an NFT collector in addition to being the crypto queen. It's the bottom line that's most important. This is not financial advice, but it's important that you know I'm a big believer in taboo. I love when influencers think that saying, this isn't financial advice means anything, the only reason none of them are getting in trouble for what they do is because this entire environment is unregulated right now. They might as well just start saying, please buy the coin so my advertisers and team can be happy. This was one of her posts showing the billboard with her on it promoting Taboo. This is in Buckhead in Atlanta. She also mentions that the Marketplace launches on November 23, 2021, which was a few weeks ago. She's a member of the team behind this project as an ambassador. Basically, just promote the coin as much as you can. Here's part of her Instagram story highlights of her crypto investing. She promoted Doge heavily back when it was the cool thing to do. She hasn't been promoting at all since it's no longer the cool coin. You can see this was over 30 weeks ago. In her next story, she promotes Ethereum Max by tagging it and using the popular slogan to the moon in what appears to be a discount bottle service area at a restaurant. Let's take a look at Ethereum Max to see how it's performed since her promotion. And it's not looking good there, Chloe. What appears to be another pump and up has left her investors disappointed in holding the bag. A solid return of minus 99% means their quarterly earnings report is going to be a bloodbath. The next image is Ethereum Max posting her tweet stating that she is officially in the Emacs game. This is all paid promotion. You really think this swimsuit model is analyzing white papers and audit reports? Of course not. What Instagram influencers really do is gain attention in any way that they can, then promote a brand to their followers. Picture every Instagram influencer with zero integrity having a blank t-shirt. Whatever brand is willing to pay the most, they will slap their brand on the blank t-shirt and start posting about how much they believe in the brand. They're marketers for hire. They're basically marketing contractors. Hey guys, it's your favorite crypto queen. I'm back with a little bit more information for you. I've just invested in Coinu Inu, and I'm super excited because they're starting a gaming platform. Bomb. This is not financial advice, but I'm holding. She does not invest any of her money in these rug pull altcoins. This is one of the major negatives of social media, in my opinion. Bikini, face filters, cleavage, beautiful hair, all influencing you to invest into a scam. There's a reason these scam projects pay her to promote their coins. Here's the website for the coin, Coinu Inu. We bring utility to the meme hemisphere. Coinu Inu is not just the cutest token out there, it is also the first coin to catapult utility to whole new levels. In case you were wondering, this project is already dead. Oh, what a surprise. The coin tanked right after she began promoting it and now it's in the crypto graveyard. What happens after she promotes a scam? I bet you already know. It's Chloe, also known as Crypto Queen, and I'm here to tell you about the Vein token. I'm super excited to be involved with this token because 
we get to give back to the environment by planting trees. That's right. The best way to invest your money is in a coin that plants trees. Just like a charity, if you invest in these scam coins, you will not be getting your money back. Unfortunately for this coin, there aren't any tax benefits. If you invest in this token, you get to give back with me. I love it. I love any opportunity to make our world a greener and more beautiful place. So invest if you want to. This is not financial advice. I'm just letting you know. Guys, this isn't financial advice, but everything I do is done to manipulate you into investing your hard earned money into the scams I promote. In case anyone doesn't really know what's going on, small projects don't have any attention. They pay people like Chloe to promote their coin. She lies about being invested in the coin to make you think that it's worth investing money in. Look, everything she does is manipulating you into buying the scam coin she promotes. Her name is Crypto Queen, even though she knows nothing about crypto. Her entire profile is filters and Photoshop. Her body isn't natural. She doesn't invest in the coins she promotes. Everything is carefully curated to scam you. Also, she can get paid a little money to sponsor the coin. That's social media influencers in a nutshell. It's Chloe, also known as Crypto Queen, and I'm here to tell you about the Vein token. This Vein token she promoted, let's see what happened to it. Dear Vein community, Vein was so unlucky with its devs and we all suffered from their dumps, rug pulls multiple times. Oh man, that's a shock to me. If you wanna make a few bucks, create a token with a lofty goal. This token is going to end homelessness in Los Angeles. Pay a few bucks to starving, desperate influencers who need rent money to promote your coin. Once enough people invest their money, sell all of your shares and disappear. What's sad is the Crypto Queen still has these stories up, even though it was proven to be a rug pull. Financial advice, this is my own coin, so obviously I'm heavily invested and super excited. I'm gonna go to bed now, but I'm so beyond excited. She was super excited about her coin just a couple months ago, but has already moved on. Her website is down and she's done promoting it. My office, my crypto office for the day. It doesn't appear that selling the idea of investment in a crypto coin from a beach paid off for the crypto queen. There needs to be a rule in investing books that says if an influencer is using their butt in a bikini to sell you on investing in whatever they're promoting, stay away. Hey guys, it's Chloe. I'm on vacation in beautiful Greece, and I needed to do a little bit of shameless self-promotion of my coin. Chloe coin is on sale. Yeah. Lucky for you, her coins are not only on sale, but you can get them for free now. The price of her coin tank faster than the engagement on an Instagram model's page once it's exposed that they secretly have a Chad boyfriend. Literally her next story is her promoting a coin called Moon Ass. This coin is already dead in the crypto graveyard, the Twitter account stopped posting, and everyone lost their money. Morning from beautiful Greece. It's your crypto queen here with my latest move. If you miss the boat with Doge or Shiba, don't be worried. I have the next big meme coin. It's called Zoku and I'm super excited. There's a ton of celebrities backing it and it looks really interesting. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm just letting you know what I'm investing in. She couldn't even pronounce the name correctly. In the sponsorship contracts, they must not add in how to pronounce the scam coin. It's Zuko token and it's already dead. It had about a four hour lifespan, but Crypto Queen didn't care as long as the check clears. She apparently flies private, which means she can't trade crypto and needs help. If you believe she trades crypto, then I hope you don't manage your own money. She better trust the pilot because if her flight experiences anything like her crypto coins, it's going to be a bad day when it crashes. Guys, it's Chloe, AKA Crypto Queen, and I'm live here from beautiful Mykonos. Once Chloe gets in her bikini, goes to an exotic resort, and sprays on that tanning oil, you know a scam is about to be promoted. Like I said earlier, cryptocurrency is the currency of the future. In my opinion, you know this is not financial advice. This is not financial advice, but please focus on what I'm saying and not on what I'm throwing in your face to distract you from this obvious scam. But I just invested in Grizz and I'm so excited. They're doing amazing big things. This is no rug pull, this is no scam. It's another meme coin, but I'm in it for the win. Let's go to the moon, babe. This is not financial advice or a scam, guys, but the creator of this project has his bear adoption certificate. This is the Grizz Token Instagram page, 971 followers, and you can see he has the partner's highlight story featuring our beloved crypto queen. He legitimately has a certificate that a grizzly bear was adopted in honor of the holders of Grizz Token. While admirable, it doesn't look like the project gained much traction. It sounds like they could have used an investment from the crypto queen. This taboo token will hopefully fare better for the investors than her previous pump and dumps. The founders are sinking money into Bill 
billboard, so there's a chance it takes off, but probably just as much of a chance as her followers have it going on a date with her. This was another episode of This Should Be Totally Illegal But Is Allowed Due To No Regulation. Hope you had fun and learned that you gotta be careful with who you let influence your investing decisions. You might just end up with a portfolio of coins in the crypto graveyard. Thanks for watching.